Uh, just want to say, first of all, I'm, I'm excited about about uh, the trip. You know, looking forward to getting over there. I know our kids are really looking forward to having an opportunity to, to get in Sydney and see the culture and the beauty of the country and uh, just the, the once in a lifetime experience that this entails. I know they're very excited about it. I think um, even more, I think even more excited about playing a football game. You know, I know we're excited to play in ANZ Stadium and the fact that the game is going to be well attended and have a great uh, crowd, I think, is, is exciting for our guys as well. And they're also excited, exciting to be, um, you know, the only kind of show in town. The, the, the beginning of the college football season on Friday night with the national TV audience and ESPN. So I think the guys are, are really looking forward to that. We've had a good fall camp and we're ready to go play. So it's, uh, you know, it's going to be a great trip and we're looking forward to it. Sonny, how, how ready are your guys to start playing somebody else? You noticed a little uh, left shift wrigglers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, we're ready. I mean, we're ready. I mean, we've got a lot of work we have to do when we get there. Um, you know, we have to have a good practice today and tomorrow, but um, but they're ready to, to compete against somebody else. I think that's, you know, as a player, you uh, you go against the same guys every day, and, and, you know, you learn what they're all about, and you learn their strengths and weaknesses, and then you want to try somebody else out and see how they are. And so our guys are tired of going against each other and looking forward to, to a fresh face on the other side. Mike, uh, materially, how much how much you guys making over over a normal home game for this? Uh, this will be a seven-figure uh, game for us. Beyond, oh, uh, above and beyond what you would normally make for an average home right, game. Right, yeah. And we get to play an FBS school, so it improves the schedule a little bit also. <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think we're ready to go. We've been planning this for more than a year. Um, it's taken cooperation from the NCAA, the Pac-12, the Football Coaches Association, uh, really important on-the-ground support in Sydney from the government of New South Wales. Um, Minister Stuart Ayres has been a, a partner. We had the chance to host him here in Berkeley in February, and they're really excited to get Cal and Cal football in Sydney. So, we're ready to go. Are you pleasantly surprised at the level of interest from the Australian fans having virtually no American football background? How many people you're expecting to be there? We were, we were assured that this was going to be a real event for Sydney. Um, Wes and I went to, uh, to Australia last August with the men's basketball program. And so we had an opportunity to, to see firsthand how excited Australians are about American sports and played a basketball game in Sydney that was fantastic. So no surprise, really excited about it. Sonny, how important was it to be able to get the off week afterwards? Because Hawaii is not going to get that off week, and then yeah. they have to travel to Michigan. Yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, it was important to do that. I just felt like with the way the schedule falls for us, you know, just making sure our players could get back and get acclimated academically, I thought it was a big deal. Uh, just where they could get back and not have to worry about trying to get ready to play a football game, just, you know, be a student and uh, get their feet on the ground at the beginning of the semester, I think is very important. And just a, a chance to rest and recover as well. So, uh, you know, I felt like it was critical to being able to you know, to participate in this game, to be able to have an open week in that, in that second game. What are the biggest challenges for going that far, traveling that far for a game, just for the players physically? And yeah, physically? you know, it, it's there's logistic, mm -hmm. you know, logistical problems that, that you worry a little bit about. I mean, you know, it's funny, we were, I was talking to our equipment guy the other day, and, you know, normally if you show up uh, and you have a game in L.A. and, you know, something happens, somebody forgets their helmet, you know, you, you reach out to a helmet manufacturer and you have a helmet there. Well, there's not a whole lot of football helmet manufacturers in Australia. And so, you know, there's just a lot of logistical things that have to happen, whether it's, you know, cleats, whether it's football pads, whether it's helmets, whether it's any of the things that we're accustomed to having access to, you know, we're not going to have them once we get to Sydney. And so, um, you know, that's, you, you worry about that uh, first and foremost. And then the second thing that's a little bit concerning is obviously the travel. You know, both teams are going to have to deal with travel. Hawaii have a little bit shorter trip than we do, but it's not going to be that significant. Um, and then. You know, you worry about your players once they get there, just understanding how important the preparation is. The good thing about this group is that um, we're a young football team, but we're also a very mature football team. And so I think our kids will handle it the right way. In terms of the travel, what's the strategy for? The yeah, we've got, we've got some pretty good plans. We're going to try to let them sleep for about, about six, six, seven hours when we get there. You know, we're going to depart at 1130 uh, Pacific time. And, and so, you know, the idea is to, to get them Get them in their in their seat pretty quickly, let them wind down, uh, let them get some sleep, and then we'll get them up after about six or seven hours and start moving them around a little bit. Um, and then when we get close, you know, there'll, there'll be a lot of hydration things that we do as well, where we're making sure that the guys are hydrated. Um, you know, which is any time that you're 
on a long flight like that, hydration becomes an issue. Uh, you got that recirculated air, and so that's going to be something that we're going to spend a lot of time making sure the guys are drinking what they need to drink. Uh, you know, we have compression pants as well that we've talked to a lot of different people that, that help us bounce back a little bit more quickly after the flight. So we're going to use every tool that's available for our disposal to make sure that, uh, you know, that the guys are fresh when we get there. When we land, we're going to go straight to the practice facility and practice and get our work in that day and go to the hotel and, and have meetings and that type of thing and, and try to reset their body clock, get them to bed early that night and hopefully they'll, they'll sleep well on Monday night. What kind of practice will it be? It'll be a regular practice or just mostly just... Yeah, it'll be like a Sunday practice mm -hmm. for us. You know, we'll start with a Sunday practice and then uh, Sunday will Monday will be a Sunday practice, Tuesday will be a Tuesday, Wednesday will be a Wednesday from there, from there on. What will uh, food be like on for 15 hours? I imagine that has to be a lot. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have a lot of food. Uh, yeah, there's, <laughs> you know, when, you, when you're dealing with a lot of 300-pound guys, you better have a lot of food. And so I know, I know that there's been a lot of attention to detail that's gone into the travel and... and uh, you know, I, I really appreciate Mike and, and what he's done in terms of making sure that everything's going to be first class for our student athletes and that we're going to take good care. Yeah, you talked a lot about kind of challenges of the international travel, but how much does that help the team aspect, the bonding, you know? Yeah, I, I think it's significant. I, I think, you know, first of all, just the, just the, the experience itself um, is something that you can't put a value on. You know, when you have a, an opportunity as an 18-year-old to go across the country uh, to a different continent, see a completely different culture, uh, explore some place you may never have an opportunity to explore, you know, just the impact that can have on your life. And, and the value of that, as I said, is you, know, you, you can't really determine that. And so we're excited about that. Um, you know, and, and it's just going to be a great trip for our guys. I mean, I think they're going to, I think they're going to really have an opportunity to spend a lot of time with each other. Um, and again, have an opportunity to bond and, and some unique experiences and under some unique circumstances. Um, and that's always that's always really important for it, especially for a young football team.